Nepal's beautiful mountainous landscapes attract tourists worldwide for their tranquility. However, in early November, a shallow earthquake with a magnitude of 5.6 struck the western mountainous region of Nepal. It caused significant damage to villagers nearby the epicenter. On the 17th, the assessment team visited a village near Berry municipality. Volunteers found that houses along the Berry River were all damaged. Many people are not sleeping there, there's why they were safe. Oh. They knew I ran over ground. Yeah. Oh. I also rescued many people here. More than half of the houses were destroyed after the earthquake due to their construction structure being unable to withstand strong shaking. Residents had to set up tents in open areas, facing challenges in their daily lives. After meeting with local officials, volunteers learned about an estimated 80,000 damaged homes. They expressed deep concern for students' education rights. The only school in the area has only a few classrooms left after the earthquake. 因为地震是发生在晚上，所以就没有什么呃伤害到学生。下个半夜有四百位学生会回来上课，所以他们打算用这个，应该是刚建好不久的八间教室。The disaster assessment team has been working non-stop since the 17th to visit disaster-stricken areas near the epicenter. They are working with local governments to determine the most helpful relief measures for affected residents to help them avoid homelessness.